We are back with Devlog 4 of making a snowball yeeting game. Last episode, we added some new weapons and some other minor edits, but this time we're going to be adding a lot cooler features. In summary, we're going to be crafting an inventory system, a chest system, and supers for the weapons. As always, in the beginning of devlogs, I like to quickly make some minor edits and changes. Today, there really isn't much. The only things that are worth mentioning would be enhancing the slingshot and giving it a better animation, and also making the boss slightly easier. Now we can get to the good stuff. In the last video, we added weapons, but there isn't an actual way to collect them. I got a lot of suggestions from previous videos, and I settled on the idea of a chest system similar to Muck. This is the idea that chests would randomly spawn around the map, and that you would use coins from defeating enemies to open them. And since zombies already drop coins, we already have a good portion of the mechanics set up. Drawing the chest was fairly simple, however coding it would be a little tougher. As of right now, you can only hold one weapon, meaning that if you purchase a chest and receive something, there's no way to actually use it. This means that we have to create an inventory system that allows the player to pick up, swap, and drop items. For time's sake, our inventory will only have three slots. The easiest way to code this would be to create three different variable clones, assigning each a different variable ID. Each clone is directly linked to an item on that inventory list we created earlier. So when one item is swapped, the clone will directly swap along with it. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's the basic idea. Now we can purchase chests and use the working inventory. But that's not the reason you clicked on this video. No, it's time to add supers. For those of you who don't know, a super is basically a special ability for a weapon or character. For example, the super for just throwing snowballs would be a simultaneous snowball blast. This launches 10 snowballs in several directions and will guaranteed save you from being hoarded. These supers are really easy to code and implement, but add a whole new aspect to the game. However, supers are not meant to be a main weapon, like it's being shown here. They're simply supposed to be a little assist that you need to strategically. Because I don't want players just spamming the super, I create a reload bar. Once the bar is full, you can use the super and the bar will reset. Now that I've explained it, it's time to create more for the other weapons. The Slingshot Super is simply a barrage of really fast snowballs. They deal a ton of damage and are really good if you need to get out of a corner. Next, I create the long-awaited and wanted grenade ability as the super for the shotgun. The grenade itself doesn't do any damage, but once it explodes, anything hit by it will probably die. If you find a cluster of zombies chasing you, by timing it right, you can kill all of them. Lastly, for my favorite weapon, the shovel, I create a sick boomerang effect that deals a ton of damage to anything it hits and auto returns to you. Uh, it can be used in a lot of scenarios, but mainly I just think it looks cool. I know this video was only about 3 minutes, but believe it or not, it took me 2 days of straight work to film and edit. I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed, you're getting weekly content and live streams, and trust me, you won't want to miss a single thing. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.